Now, the next thing we want to look at is that how to quantify such an equilibrium that we've seen already. The equilibrium between an ionic solid and a saturated solution. So let's go back to a, for one of the four earlier examples we saw of silver bromide. So if I have a saturated solution of silver bromide, this is the equilibrium that exists. Silver bromide becoming aqueous, silver ions and bromide ions. This equilibrium exists. And this equilibrium, because it's an equilibrium, can be represented by a Kc. And what's a Kc? Kc is an expression of an equilibrium where the, it's the right-hand side's concentration over the left-hand side, if you guys remember this from AS level. Now, this would be the Kc for this expression. Now, we don't leave it at this stage for this chapter because what we know is that for any particular thing, Kc happens to be a solid, right? A uh, constant, sorry. And we also know that silver bromide is a solid. And so this fellow is a constant because it's called a constant no? for that particular substance at a particular temperature. And this fellow is also called a, this is solid. And solids concentration is constant. Okay? So basically, what we can do is we can combine this Kc with this solid. So Kc into, you know, silver bromide can be considered to be just the product of the ions. Now, so what I have left on the right hand side is this. Now, this is the same thing as by saying, hey, don't we take solids as uh, non existent in the Kc expression? Yes, because we just take them to the other side and they become a new Kc because solids are constant and aqueous, I mean, Kc is a constant. Kc is a constant for a particular substance at a particular temperature and the substance, solids concentration is constant. And you know why that's constant? Because what's really a concentration for a solid? It's its density measured in moles per dm cube. So for a, for a particular compound, its density is also constant in a solid state. So these two are constant. And so we give this a new name. So we give this Kc a new name. We call it Ksp, which stands for solubility product. And that's the chapter's name, by the way. So the Ksp for this e relationship or this expression of the equilibrium between the aqueous ions and the solid is just simply the right-hand side of the equation, which is the aqueous ions. And that's the first part of this chapter, to be able to write the Ksp expression for any saturated solution. Because a saturated solution will be in equilibrium, and for that equilibrium, you'll just write the right-hand side, because the left-hand side is solid. So that overall expression becomes a new name, Ksp. It's a very specific Kc. It's like Kc is just a generic name for all equilibrium constants, and in second year, you'll see specific cases getting specific names. This one here is called KSP, standing for solubility product. And that is this particular case. We'll see some more equations right now and some more KSPs. Let's take a look at another example now. This one we've already seen earlier for barium sulfate. So now how would I write the KSP for this? Straight up direct KSP. So the straight up direct KSP will just be the right hand side, which is barium two plus aqueous and sulfate two minus aqueous. So one of the most important things this for this chapter is to write the KSP expression for any saturated solution. And that might look very easy. Yes, it is very easy. It's pretty straightforward, this chapter. And it's not just the expression we are talking about. We also need to be able to write the units for that expression. So now the way the expression stands is just the right hand side. In this case, this is one concentration term in moles per dm cube. This is second concentration term in moles per dm cube. For individual ions, yes. This is for individual ions. And so each individual ion has their own concentration in moles per dm cube. And so the KSP unit here would be moles squared dm minus six. Reminder that KSP is just particularly the equilibrium constant for a reaction where a solid is just dissolving in water and forming a saturated solution. This Ksp term only applies for such an equilibrium between a solid and its saturated solution. No other place. So every time you have just a solid and its aqueous ions, 
that equilibrium will have a kc which we call ksp and this is called solubility product uh, is called ionic equilibria ion equilibria salt equilibria multiple names for this and we can take a look at a few other ex expressions i mean this is the easy one but let's say i show you this i show you then hey fellows i have iron hydroxide feoh twice which is a precipitate so if i take this green solid which is not very soluble soluble in water and add it to water it'll form an equilibrium and some of its solid will dissolve and the remainder will remain undissolved and will form an equilibrium and that equilibrium will be of a saturated solution so this expression is for a saturated solution of saturated solution of feoh twice and this will have a ksp so what would the ksp for this be it would be 1 fe2 plus to the power 1 but hydroxide will be to the power 2 because if you remember kc is the coefficients become the power and so for this expression for this equation sorry this is the expression of ksp and so yes it might seem simple that we just writing the expression for ksp it is but that's the first hurdle we have to overcome writing the expressions for kfc kp K ksp not kfc sorry and here what do we have the units to be so it'll be more fe2 plus is moles per dm cube into oh oh minus squared is moles squared dm minus six it's squared and so the overall units become moles cube dm minus nine so this particular um ionic compound having a saturated solution this is the mm, what you call it the expression of ksp and those are the units for ksp all right i'll show you one last one all right and the last uh, one last ex example is let's say iron 3 hydroxide which is feoh thrice and so what i'd like want to do is write the ksp expression for this and the units for this so ksp for this would be what 1 fe3 plus and three hydroxides so that'll be hydroxide cube and the unit for this will be one concentration term here and three concentration term here that make it a total of four concentration terms so you can do a you know okay concentration to the power four which is what moles per dm cube to the power four which simplifies to moles four dm minus 12. so this particular relationship have an equilibrium of so this is a saturated solution of iron 3 hydroxide it has a ksp and we can even calculate the values once we have the expression but we'll do that later first job is to be able to write the equation write the ksp expression and then write the units this is worth a total of two marks in most questions yeah and this is not a very this is not a very popular chapter so it comes in small bits and pieces maximum of four to five marks and one two two of the major marks are for writing the expression and giving the unit all right remember this term is called ksp that stands for solubility product and it's only and only calculated using values of a saturated solution so the equilibrium only exists in saturated solutions and therefore the ksp can only exist in a saturated solution and so that's the one thing that you got to keep in mind and generally speaking we apply this to salts that don't dissolve very well in water so they tend to form precipitates and therefore they very easily make saturated solutions and so this tends to work for those Hey there, if you like what you saw right now, head over to altacademy.org for access to content around six subjects with past papers, videos, revision guides, flashcards, and academic support. All of this is going to make sure that you're completely set for your A-levels. So I'll see you there on the platform.